Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this tutorial today I will show you how you can create a backup of your WordPress website using cPanel. So first thing we will have to do is this is the WordPress site that I will be creating a backup of using cPanel. So the first thing we will do is go to your cPanel and login. just a second okay so now I have logged into my cPanel and this is how it will look and if it looks different your cPanel dashboard looks different than me than mine then uh, what you have to do is change your theme as you can see here uh, this is where you can change your theme or just go to uh, scroll down and you will see in the preference tab there will be an option to change style so click on it and then from here you can see uh, if your cPanel looks different than me then most likely it will be using the retro theme so you can apply that and your cPanel that will then look like this so uh, you what you can do is then again scroll back and uh, I'll change my style to the basic style again I like this so if your cPanel looks a bit different than me then you can change the style and it will look the same it will have the same options it's just a theme so now let's go back to what we were doing so now to uh, take a back create a backup of this WordPress website what we will need to do is we need two things first a backup of all our just, uh, file files and a backup of our database so to create a backup of our database what we have to do is first go to file manager and go to the then go to the public HTML folder most likely uh, if your website is on the web uh, normally it should be in the public HTML folder here you will be able to see which uh, for your domain you want to create backup uh, you will be able to see that folder here for me it's um, located here so this is the you can see demo.1smarthelpguides.com slash WP and this is uh, this is the WP folder which contains all files for this website that I want to create backup of so what I will do is I will click on select all and then go to right click here and then click on compress and then select the compression type to zip archive and then click on compress files okay now depending upon your website size this will contain all the media files all the images you use and everything so now the compression is complete and you will be able to see here this is the wp-admin.zip so I will quickly remain, rename it to um, full backup you can use any name okay now what you have to, uh, okay so now after creating this com zip file of all the files uh, I will download it to my PC to download it click on right uh, you can click here select this file and then click here okay so now the download has started and depending on your internet connection it will take a few seconds to download okay so now let's go back to the next step now what we have to do is create a backup of our MySQL database so again go back to the cPanel main dashboard and then scroll down and look for PHP my admin okay in this will be in the database tab so click on it 
and and you can see here there are a lot, lot of database so to know which uh, which is the correct database for this website as I'm hosting multiple website on the server so there are multiple databases so to check which uh, which is the correct database we need to download again go back to the file manager and from here look for this file wpconfig.php and select it and then click on view and then scroll down and from here you will be able to see all the database details so here you can see the database name this wp493 okay so now let's go back to the php my admin and here this is the website now this is the database sorry that we need to take back above so select it and now this contains every all the data about your website all the comments all links and uh, your email id login details uh, credentials which um, to verify so the, this is very important and then after selecting this database what you have to do is go to export and from here uh, keep this on default export method quick and format SQL and then click on go okay so now we have downloaded both the files we need uh, first is the zip of all the important files of the data of the website and second is the MySQL database of our website so now what I will do is uh, to show you a demo uh, we'll select all of this and delete it so I have dropped all the uh, data all the tables from this database and now I will go back to my website and show you if it's still working or not let me reload it and see it will show you an error the, and it will try to reinstall WordPress so but okay now let's also delete all the files here and select all and I will click on delete and let's again try to reload our website and see if it's working and you can see there is for there's a 404 error that is nothing is found on this web server so you can see this is the same uh, URL domain and now let's try to so restore our website using the backup we just took so again let's go back to the file manager and just make sure that this is the same folder uh, where your uh, website was hosted earlier okay so then click on upload and then from here you can select files or just dra uh, drag and drop here and you can see here there is a maximum file size allowed limit normally it should not be a problem but um, in case your website contains a lot of media files and uh, the and it is more than the maximum limit allowed what you can do is uh, take the zip file and extract it and then upload it, uh, zip it in parts and then upload it and then on your website you can extract it all so if you need help with that please post in the comments and I will help you <clears throat> okay so the now the uh, I have uploaded the zip file and click here go back to the file manager and here you can see this is the zip file I just uploaded again and then select it and then now we have to extract it and you click on extract mm, everything has been successfully extracted and click on close and uh, it is very important to uh, delete this zip file else uh, anyone can download this files and this will be a major issue for you select it and then click on delete okay so now we have restored our files now let's restore our database go here 
and again select the correct database so make sure you remember this and uh, you can uh, check which data which is the correct database from the download or from the wp config in the full zip uh, backup zip okay so now then click on import and then from here files to import browse your computer so, uh, click on choose file i uh, will manually upload it again okay so now select go okay don't worry about this just click on back and it should be fine now let's see if our website is working again yes yeah so we have again restored our website properly and let's see if all the posts are working and everything and the post is working let's try logging into the wordpress dashboard and this is working too so everything is working normally and there's no problem we have successfully restored our website from the backup we took off of using cpanel so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you need any help please post in the comments and uh, um, however this is a manual way to take backup of wordpress website which can be well a bit tricky and very slow so there is a better way to do it using wordpress plugin so if you want to watch that video click check that box or you can see the comments there sh should be a link to that video i have also created that video to um, how you can just automate everything using a plugin and just set and forget about it okay so please if you like this video please leave a like and post a comment and i will see you in the next video